There have been several cases of measles in South Florida, and parents are starting to worry if their child is at risk. If you live in a community where there has been a measles outbreak, this is what you need to know. My name is Dr. Monica Flores, a pediatrician in South Florida since 2001. And like many pediatricians, I've never seen a case of measles. This is because the MMR vaccine is highly effective in preventing the disease. If you have opted to fully vaccinate your child, more than likely they've received the first dose of the MMR at 12 to 15 months of age. The second dose is given between four to five years of age to complete the series. One dose gives you 93% protection and two doses give you up to 97% protection, that if a hundred children with two doses of the vaccine are exposed to measles, only three will get sick. And if fully vaccinated, your immune system has a head start and more than likely you will be less sick. Measles is a virus. There is no antibiotic that will prevent or treat the disease. The only prevention is vaccination. There is an immune globulin, antibodies that are given by vein to people who are immune compromised, pregnant, or infants with measles. It is highly contagious because it is airborne, meaning it hangs out in the air and you do not have to be in direct contact with someone who is sick in order to be exposed to the disease. Only people who have the disease can spread it. Unfortunately, knowing if you have the disease is very difficult because it starts like many viruses. And in the early days of the infection, you may not even know you have measles. That's when you're most contagious. For the first two to four days, people with measles will have intense cough, a fever, runny nose, and watery eyes. Does that sound familiar to most of the colds your child has already had? Yep, most children with measles are more ill appearing unless you've been vaccinated. Then you're more than likely to have a milder version of the disease. One thing that sets measles apart from other viruses is that three to five days after the onset of fever, cough, runny nose, red watery eyes, you'll get a descending macular papular rash. That is a pink to red, flat and raised, fine bumpy rash that starts at the head and works its way down the body. You may even get some spots inside of your cheeks. Measles can also cause brain swelling, pneumonia, and death, especially in high risk, immune compromised or unvaccinated populations, children less than 12 months of age. If you live in a community where there has been a measles outbreak, what do you do? Ensure that your child has had their vaccines. Try to prevent them from being exposed to other children who are are sick or populations of children who have not been vaccinated. If they attend daycare or school, ensure that the school has a rigorous sick policy, which also may mean that you will lose days of work if your children get sick. When in an outbreak, if your child gets sick with cough, runny nose, fever, red watery eyes, keep them home for a minimum of seven days to ensure that they don't get the rash. It is highly unlikely to have measles without a rash. As always, boost your child's immune system with a healthy diet plenty of exercise, sunshine, sleep, and a complete multivitamin. If your child is sick with cough, fever, runny nose, red eyes, measles cannot be diagnosed in most doctor's offices. There are no rapid in-office tests for measles available to pediatricians. Like you, we have to go by symptoms and risk of exposure. There are blood tests and PCR tests that can diagnose measles, but the usual turnaround time for results is measured in days. Due to the contagiousness of measles, and since it mimics normal childhood viruses, if your child is sick, at minimum, have them wear a mask. Since it is airborne, this does reduce infectivity with measles. If you've had a true exposure to measles, you can develop measles up to 21 days after exposure. If exposed, contact the health department and they will guide you in regards to quarantine and treatment. In summary, measles is highly contagious, can start like a regular virus, and can progress to serious systemic disease. Your only protection is your immune system and vaccination. If you still have questions, reach out to your pediatrician. Hope this helps.